Sunday, February 25th, 09.39 a.m. New York time. Welcome to Winning Wall Street's Money. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Winning Wall Street's Money. If you want to get access to the videos the same day, you're welcome to join my Patreon page, as well as get more information. There's a big event occurring this year. This decision was made for a vote. The board approved of it, and it was voted on. And change is occurring. Big change. Starting this week. Company Amazon will replace Walgreens on the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Dow Jones Industrial Average is a stock index, one of many stock indexes, very old stock index, very prestigious stock index. It's an American stock index. All the companies listed on here, the 30 companies listed on it, are United States companies that are publicly traded. Simply means they're listed on the stock market. Huge improvement, way overdue, coming to the index. I am bullish bias. You can read the story more on your own. Since this stock exchange index is going to be taking place next week, or this coming week, starting tomorrow, I think it's important to look at the situation at hand. So this is a five-year chart, each candle is a week, and it's a Dow Jones Industrial Average Index right now. Has the close of Friday. We've made an all-time new high. Outstanding. I shared this information last week. I was bullish bias. I bought more positions during the week on a dip for my long-term investment portfolio. The value of them went up, so the account is worth more money now. If you did the same, if you sold your positions this past week for gains, profits, that's great. If you added to it, that's great. Very nice. So currently in a markup phase. Huge accumulation phase this duration of last year. Good opportunity to buy in there. And if you're still bullish, good opportunity to do dollar cost average on the markup. So we'll go after big order, all 30 companies. Let's take note again. The index made an all-time new high. You could do one of two things. You could invest in this index. You could invest in the individual companies, or you could do a combination. Looking here at Apple. I did not make an all-time high for the year. Nope. It's very close to the low of the years. Again, the index is outperforming Apple. Amgen has also actually made a new low for the year. Merit Express, all-time new high for the year in the five years here, outstanding. So a bank is outperforming the technology and healthcare companies, interesting. Boeing, big problems. First, this gap, this orange horizontal line, it finally filled that gap, went up, down. It also made a new low for the year. Not a winner. So let me remove this gap, because filled, and because it made a new low for the year, I'll adjust this. Big difference, right? The Dow Jones Duster Average, new high for the year. And several of the companies inside this index, Boeing being one of them, is hurting the index. Just weighted average. So when these companies go up, 
they certainly help the Dow, vice versa, as them going down are not benefiting the Dow. So maybe more of these should be replaced. Let me also update this. This is the gap. I'll set the price alert later on. So when it does fill that, I know. And set the alert for when it gets tested. The gap down gets tested. If you're bullish, well, you might consider buying the dip down here. Buying the dip. Bullish trade on. If you're familiar with options, you understand doing the bull put spreads, which I mention often. So you're welcome to look at my past archives to see what that means. Opportunities if you're bullish for a trade, swing trade. Next, Caterpillar, just shy of the all-time high for the year. And it did something actually different. Made an inside candle for the week. So that means it's indecided what it wants to do. Didn't take out the high or low of the prior week. Interesting. Not too many were like that. Salesforce, stocks of old Charlie, Romeo, Mike. Actually made a new high for the year. It's still below the high of 2021. Cisco Systems. Again, stock symbols here on the top left, as well as I have it here on the chart. Made a new low for the year. Another technology company not performing as well as the bank. Interesting. Chevron. Made a new high for the year. Up below the high of the two prior years. Disney. Way below the all-time highs. Lots of highs. Here we are right there. Coming off the high for the year. Dow Chemical made a new high for the year. Also tested that swing high from July of last year. It didn't close above it, broke above it, tested it, and closed below it. So that's suspicious, possibly reversal. I'm going to keep that there until it either closes above it or proves to have a reversal. Potential trade idea. Goldman Sachs, another bank. New high for the year. Home Depot, new high for the year. I'm standing. Honeywell. Up. It did go green for the week, make a higher, higher, higher low, but still below the high of the year. Yep. Way below. IBM. There we go. Had that high of the year there and then sold off. But it's doing better than many other companies. Intel, uh, close to the lows of the year. Yep. Johnson Johnson, way below the prior year's highs. Big move for the week. JP Morgan, new high for the year. Outstanding. Look at that. Took out all these past five years. Banks making a huge turnaround. Coca-Cola made a new high for the year and below these prior year's highs. McDonald's coming off the lows. Again, McDonald's, look at that. This year alone made a new high for the year. Performing better than many of the technology companies. And 3M. So made a new low for the year. Garbage loser. And this is hurting the Dow. The Dow could be performing even better if this was more bullish or if they replace it with something better. Merck, all-time new high for the year. Outstanding. Microsoft, outstanding. Just shy of the all-time high again. Very strong. Nice. Nike, loser. Retail, way below the prior year's highs. Yep. Also did inside candle down there. 
Maybe we'll see a test of that midpoint or here, but just very weak count here. Proctor Gamble, new high for the year. Nice. Coming back up to the high of 2022. Travelers. Yeah, another financial company, new high for the year. All-time new high here for the five-year chart. Wonderful. Big turnaround for the financials. United Health. Green for the week. Trending up, up below the highs of the prior two years. Visa. New high for the year. All-time new high here. Financials outstanding. Verizon. Coming off the lows of last year. Way below these prior years low. Lots of problems. Walgreens. The one that's going to get kicked off. Getting replaced. Taken off. Replaced by Amazon. Again, for this way below these prior years lows. Garbage. It's way overdue. That's coming replaced. So again, this comes off and Amazon gets replaced. We'll look at Amazon in a minute. This company will be still listed on the stock market. It'd be just moved to other stock indexes, be on the same stock exchange, just different stock indexes. And the institutions that have it in their portfolios will be selling it on the portfolios that don't equal or perform that are related to the Dow. So that'd be bearish. But again, the leadership would be Amazon. And Walmart, new high for the year. Look at that, outstanding. Outstanding. Okay, let's go look at Walmart, Amazon. You in the drawings. Nice. So Amazon made a new high for this week. New high for the year. I bought a small position this past week for swing trading, and it's green as well, too. I bought the dip during the week. So one's going to expect this to be higher at the end of the year, as well as the Dow Index. Because, again, we're replacing Walgreens, which is the loser hurting it, and as Amazon goes higher, that would benefit the Dow Index. That's it. Thank you as always for spending a bit of the time with me. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.